Right guys, welcome to another UK Skyline Crawler video. Um, right, I'm just waterproofing a servo for one of my mates, so I thought while I'm waterproofing one, I may as well show you how to do it. Um, I apologise for the hazy throat as well, hazy voice. Um, I've had a bit of a chest infection for the last week and a half, hence why I haven't been really doing any videos. Um, right, basically to waterproof your servo, what you need is you need a little O-ring like that one. I'll just put that on my hand, I'll see if I can get camera to focus up so you can see the size of it. It's only small. You need a little O-ring. You need a big tub of plaster dip, kind of like that. And then your servo. Now uh, this servo's bust, as you can see in the base of the case, it got snapped a while back. So due to the fact that that, you know, it's, it's broken. I may as well use this one to show you what's inside and then you'll end up with a finished product like that. So, what you do, take the four screws out the base. If you look in the bottom of the servo, it'll have four screws, one in each corner. So what you do, you pull all them out. Just put them off to one side. Right, now when you're opening the servo, be careful that you don't pop all the gears out. Because if you don't know how to go back in, it can be a pain. So what I normally do is I push down on the top there. And push the case up so it pops up like that. Now, they might well come out. They might not. We'll soon find out. Don't all stayed in place. Right. What you see in there is basically all your gears. With all the grease on them. And uh, this one's titanium geared. So I can use the gears out of this in that one. If I ever snap a gear in that. Because uh, they're the same servo. So, yeah. Once you've done this, put that bit off to one side a minute. Uh, what you need to do now is you see in the top there there's a bearing. Camera focus, there we go. See that bearing up here? You need to pop that out. Now to pop it out, if you get a flat bladed screwdriver, like that, just stick it in the case. Just jiggle it until, oops, there goes another screwdriver. Just keep popping at it till the bearing comes out. Maybe you, even if you need to push from the top, and just get it out. Some way or another. There with us one minute, I'll just do this off camera and then I'll come back. Right, there we go, back. Right, as you can see, bearing's out. And we've now got the bearing there. So now you need to put the top half of the case off to one side for a minute. Right, and get your servo again. Now this bearing sits on top of that big gear. Right, so you put that, put that over the top like that. Just press it down till it seats on the bottom there. Right now, to waterproof the servo, once you've done this, you then need to get your O-ring and just put the O-ring. Right, it's going to be really tight when you do this, but it will go over if you persevere with it. So just gradually pull at it and it'll go over. One way or another. Apologise about this, but I can't really do it when I'm looking at camera. I can do that off camera one sec. It's a lot easier when you're not looking at the camera. Well, most of the time, anyway. <laughs> there we go. Right, so once you've got the O ring over the top of that gear, you want to seat the O ring all the way down. So it's, it's just above the bearing. As you can see there. Now, once you've done that, I'll just have to run in the kitchen and go get my grease. Bear with us one sec. Sorry about that. I was very unprepared for this video. Um, so, yeah. Once you've got it like that and you've got the O-ring seated over the top, then get your grease. Now, this grease I'm using is marine grease. Um, you're better off using marine grease. It doesn't break down as quick. Um, if at all, to be honest with you. But you get a big gob of it like that and just put it round the top of the gear. You can use your fingers or use a brush or 
whoever you want. Well, I tend to mash it on with a brush and then spread it about with fingers a bit. So, once you've got it on, just give it a little bit of a mash around so it looks so you've got a big thick coating on it like that. And make sure it's brushed all around the o ring so you can't see any of the o ring anymore. And once you've done that, get your lid again, get your servo, slide your lid over, and when you push it down, sometimes you may feel that it's not seating all the way down. That can be because of the O-ring. 99% um, of the time it will seat though. If it doesn't seat, then just go see if you can get a skinnier O-ring, put a smaller O-ring on and then it'll definitely work. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, get your servo back like that, put your screws back in the bottom. So, as you know, you live in there, you'll know this once you've split it anyway. And just tighten them back up. Once it's all tight, I'll just tighten this down quick, thinking of it. Um, I'll do it off camera and then once that's done, I'll show you how to dip it. Right, now once, as you can see, all screws are back in again. Bear in mind, as I said, this servo is broken, so I'm not even going to bother testing it, but I'm just showing you for how-to purposes, basically. Um, but yeah, once you've put all your screws back in, get an old servo horn, just an old plastic one, and just slide it back over the gears there, or back over the teeth, because when you dunk it in a plastic dip, even though you can still push your servo horn back on, sometimes it can end up with it, it won't have that proper bite on the teeth. But, yeah, so, once you've done that, as you can see on this other servo where I've dipped, it's the way I've wrapped it in a knot like that. It gives you a hanging point. Now, I've just got it hung over that saucer at the minute, and it's just sitting on the end of my drill like that. And just sit it like that, and leave it till it's completely dry, and then dip it again, and then dip it again, put like three coats on. Then you know it's never going to go through then. But, yeah, so, once, basically, you create the end of your wire, get your end of your wire and wrap it up into a hanging point. And then once you've wrapped it up into a hanging point, you literally, and you've got your servo horn on, sorry, you literally just go like that. Give it a good old mash about and plaster it. You can buy this from, I think, over in the States, you can get it from, like, Home Depot and things like that. Over here, there's a website over in the UK that sells the proper American one. This isn't the proper American one, but if you put enough coats on, it still does the same job. So, yeah, give it a good dunk, pull it back out and let the excess just strip off it like that. And then once the excess is dripped off, give it a little wipe like so, and then you stick it on your hanging point and just leave it hanging there. So, that one's bust as we know anyway, so I'll just chuck that there for now. But after about 20 minutes, you'll see that it starts to go dry. That look still looks quite wet, but it's, it's, it's so sort of dry on the side. And then once, yeah, so once you've done that, and you've put like three or four coats on, it's fully waterproof, good to go. So I hope this helps you out. Um, if you get stuck or you need a hand with anything or you need to know what size O-rings are used or anything like that, just give us a shout. Um, and I'll quite happily help you out as much as I can. Um, please click the subscribe button. Share this amongst your friends as well, please, so you can get me a few more subscribers, ideally. Um, and, yeah, thank you very much. Hope to see you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.